like a hilltop country town north of Melbourne has been completely devastated by this fire. There is almost nothing left of an entire community in King Lake. It was a mountainside town with dense bushland on both sides and sitting on top of a valley which has now been completely blackened. One of the most striking things about King Lake at the moment is there is no colour left in the town. The fire has burned all the colour. Only grey survived. There is no undergrowth left. The dirt is black. Trees are charred all the way to the very top and the sky is still smoky and grey. No sun is getting through to King Lake. Almost every building in the town has been burned down. There are perhaps half a dozen houses out of 100 or so standing. It's hard to know what were houses, what were sheds, what was machinery, what was anything left in the town at all. The death toll in King Lake is still being counted. As of yesterday when we were up there, CFA crews were walking house to house and they were checking every house and every room they could safely access. If the house was left as nothing more than a pile of twisted rubble, they were working, sifting through that rubble to check for bodies and to check for people. They were tagging the front of houses with red and white striped tape if the house was found not to have anybody inside it and the houses with blue tape houses where bodies have been found and bodies are still being found this morning as more and more remote properties are being accessed. In King Lake we're hearing stories of people who sheltered in water tanks. We're hearing of a farmer who had a dozen people hiding in his cool room where he kept fruit and they survived. But these people are basically walking the streets of the town they once lived in where there's nothing left and they're meeting each other on street corners and they're saying have you heard about such and such? Do you know where this person is? Do you know where that person is? And they're having to break the news to each other of friends that have died, of relatives that have died. It is as though the bomb has gone off and just destroyed the entire place. It's absolutely extraordinary the level of destruction. Most journalists have visited the scene of a few bushfires and have seen a bit of devastation but I've never ever seen anything like this wrought by fire. There is just absolutely nothing left and the survivors tell us there was just no warning. They were listening to radio reports and updates and they had their fire plans ready and King Lake wasn't mentioned. There were talks of the fires in Wandong and in Whittlesey and all of a sudden this huge wall of flame raced straight up the valley, fanned by the, the change of wind so they suddenly turned the fire and it raced it straight towards King Lake and people had no time, which is why being assumed that there have been so many fatalities because people had planned to stay and fight and people who live in this sort of country are, are used to the bushfire threat and they have bushfire plans and they're ready and they do everything right. They tried to stay and fight this fire, but it was just too strong and too hot. And at the last minute, they made the decision, thinking their only way out was to try and flee. And, and so many of them jumped in cars and tried to drive out. We're being told by the people who survived that the smoke made it pitch black as though it was midnight. And people tried to drive out. And the, the road to Whittlesea, which is the quickest way out of King Lake, is littered with cars that have crashed into trees, head-on collisions, cars that have just spun off into ditches and... Basically, people have been trapped there and burnt in their cars. It's a truly horrific scene in King Lake at the moment, and it will be for days to come. A lot of residents haven't been allowed back yet, and they're waiting in Whittlesea, and people would come up to you and say, do you know if, if where such and such is? Have you heard about this person? Have you heard about this person? And they're, they're still walking around looking for friends and relatives and neighbours. So it's still a truly awful, awful scene in King Lake and surrounds, and this community will be a long time recovering.